Okay, today we're going to be going over, basically it's going to be a quick tip. It's just going to be a very simple thing we're going to do, but we're going to utilize it in a future tutorial in the coming week. Um, and it's just basically we're going to be grabbing the HTML code from a web page. Uh, there's lots of different modules and different ways to do this. We're going to go be a very basic way of doing this using uh, the URL libs. So let's go into Python, just type Python in your terminal. And we're going to import a module, the URL lib. So import URL lib and hit enter. And if you have Python installed, I believe that comes with the uh, default modules. So it should be there. And at this point, uh, we're going to create an object. We'll just call it F, but you can call it pretty much whatever you want within reason. Don't use any special characters or anything like that. And we're going to say it equals a URL lib. So we're using the module that we just imported. And we're going to use a function out of it called URL open. And then side parentheses and inside quotations will give it a page. We'll say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash google.com. And what it just did was it, the URL lib went and opened up Google, looked at all the HTML and grabbed it and put it into the object of F. So we didn't, we don't have any files such as, um, uh, images or any other files that may be on the page. It's just the HTML code that's generated by that page is now within F. Now if I go F dot read and parentheses, you can see it prints out all the HTML code that was inside the, um, the uh, F object and, um, and it's not formatted any way that's easy to read. Uh, that's something that we can go through with our um, Python script and, and read through and cut out stuff and find what we need later on. But basically we grab the HTML code. Now if we run fread again, you notice nothing happens. That's because we're at the end of fread. So real quick, let's hit up arrow a few times. Grab uh, google.com again. So f equals url lib dot url open and then our page, just as we did before. And this time if we go create another object, I'll just say s equals f dot read. Basically what we're doing is we're taking the the output as we read through the f read, we're setting s equal to that. So now if I hit s, you can see the output and I can s again and it does it again. Um, let me print something here so that you can see. Okay, so I got an error because I forgot to, to put quotations there, but that's fine. If I hit s again, you can see that no matter how times I hit s, until I change s, s always equals that output. Where f read, we've already read through the file, we're at the end, and if we read it again, there's nothing left to read. Um, so that's pretty much it. Let's just do another page for fun. We can override F again, basically create another F object. We're not really overriding the last one because it still exists, but I'll, I'll give it another, we'll just say K for Chris. K equals URL lib dot open URL and then parentheses and inside quotations, we'll say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash films by Chris.com. That's my site. If you don't didn't know that already. Hit enter. What do we do wrong? And it's not uh, open URL, it's URL open. I'm a little dyslexic today, I guess. Okay, so went to my website, grabbed the HTML code that's generated by the, in my case, a PHP uh, server script generates the HTML. And once again, we'll just say s equals k.read. Don't forget your parentheses there. And now we can output s and you can see all the HTML code from my page. And once again, we can later on search through that, split it, do whatever we need to find the information we need from it. Um, so that's it. Very short little tutorial today, but we will be using this uh, in the future. And there are a lot of different modules for doing different stuff as far as downloading files, grabbing HTML uh, output. Um, but for what we're gonna be working on uh, next in the coming week, um, this will be uh, very useful. Uh, so, uh, also today is uh, July 22nd, um, 2011, and it's Friday, and I've been trying on the weekends to be doing special tutorials that are off subject from normal tutorials. This weekend is phone tips. We're going to be playing with a lot of different um, uh, features, phone-based stuff to where you can do things like fake your caller ID number when you call somebody or send prank messages to people uh, using different websites and tools. And we're going to be looking at a few different websites and we are going to write scripts both in Bash and Python to interact with those sites 
to do fun things with phones and phone numbers. So I hope that you do enjoy that. And, um, and uh, once again, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I hope you enjoy this trail. And I really hope that you enjoy the handful of videos that I'm putting out this weekend on playing with phones. Uh, so it's kind of like uh, old school freaking, but uh, with modern day internet mixed together. So once again, thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.